this is actually the last week of playing this type of guard. We're going to continue over the next few classes looking at single leg X guard and X guard. Technically, that's still an open guard. But again, from this grip, and I have a controlling car far shoulder and looking for the open elbow. Um, remember um, when Carl postured from here? We were showing you the options of hitting that scissor sweep. Okay, when he postured, he brought that up. Right, so you're going to need um, a, a game plan if Carl actually stands up. And now he um, postures up super high from this position. Okay, so if he postures up super high, he's going to transition to the X guard. So from my grip here and here, Okay. My hand that has the sleeve control is going to grab the pants here. Okay. I'm going to um, take my foot off the bicep and make a butterfly hook at the back of his leg. I'm going to take my foot off his hip and in one movement I'm going to hip under car to swim inside the air. Okay. So again, detail on keeping my hand controlling car's knee or ear to ear. Okay. So basic. Um, um, X car sweep technical um, from technical stand up is I'm going to kick Carl back. I can sweep him in four directions, but the basic um, um, X car sweep is I'm going to kick Carl forward as I come up on my elbow. Okay. From here, I'm coming up with my hand, my foot that was on the far hip, plants on the mat, technical stand up. I look for the foot, pull him down, and then I can start to pass. Okay. Yeah, one more time. So I'm playing this open guard, cause posturing, and he's keeping this elbow super tucked to his hip, so it makes it very difficult for me to hit him on platters. And also, because he's postured, okay, um, it makes me, I can't really go for that scissor sweep when he was on his knees. So this is my, um, my game plan, I need to switch to a different guard, so I'm gonna switch to the X. I keep this collar grip, to try and keep him bent over. My hand was on the sleeve, just grabs the pass. I get a pistol grip on that. I'm sure you guys know what that means. From this position, my foot that was on the back. I didn't even get a slip on there. So, come on, work with my hair. Work with my hair. So, from this position, the foot that was on his bicep, okay, I'm going to hook it at the back of his leg. So, I'm not pulling car towards me. I'm pulling him towards me and I'm moving underneath him. So, this foot that's on the hip, plants on the mat. As I pull car towards me, this under hooking this leg and get the nail. Okay. So from here, I've got my grips. Let's just say a reaction from Carl is as I try to do technical stand up and kick him that way, as I raise that foot, okay, Carl wants to put it back on the mat. Okay. As I kick him forward and I'm taking this foot off the mat. And as he does that, this is when I'm gonna switch, okay? As his foot's coming back to the mat. This foot drops down. This is the perfect opportunity okay, for me to hit my backwards off bottom sweep. From here, coming underneath, and I'm on the lapel, and I pull the car. From this position, okay, I'm going to shrug him to my left, and I make an X with my arms here. Okay, this has got really good control. So basically, from here, Carl, try to turn into me. It's very difficult. Because I've got control of his hips, try to turn away from me. But if I just keep these grips, it's going to be a stalemate, and I want to get on his back. So this is how you know um, higher belts seem to be always a move ahead in jiu-jitsu. I'm going to release this a little bit, knowing that Carl's only option is to turn away. And when he does, my first hook's coming in. Okay. Second hook comes in. I release my left hand grip. I move the other hook. Control, I have harness control, hooks in. So, sort of at beginner's level, when I get to here, a lot of people get this chin up grip on the choking arm. We talked about um, when I get harness control, it always makes sense to have the underhook hand covering this. Because so if I have it the other way around and he strips this, okay, I've got no choking arm. Yep, he plays the snake game. So it makes sense, the underhook hand comes on top. So if he tries to grab my hand and strip it, this is into the show. But also from this position on a tight Amir here, I'm trying to make it this chin-up grip on my arm. So as he's trying to pull it down, I'm trying to pull it up and that doesn't make sense. 
if I get into this position, I don't pull it up, I punch it. Does that make sense? And I look where my elbow is, right under his chin. That's why it makes much more sense to swim my hand inside, rather, yeah, rather than opposite positions. I don't want to be doing back stuff tonight, but basically from here, rather than pulling down, I'd be bringing a hand inside and I can start to work my escapes and stuff. Okay, so again, one more time. From my open guard. Push already bringing this back to his hip and he's posturing. So his head's coming straight up. So again, I need to switch to a different guard here. So the hand that has the sleeve, grabs the shin here. Hand the foot that was on the bicep, gets a butterfly hook, put my foot on the mat, and as I pull car towards me, I shrimp my hips underneath him. Then insert my, my left foot on his far hip, um, controlling his knee. Again, um, we're not get, we'll be looking at X guard in the next few weeks, we'll look at different grips, but as I say, I still have the lapel. I'm going to kick him forward to go for my technical um, stand up sweep, but as I do that, and I take the weight off Carl's leg. As he drives back, that's when I'm dropping down to here. And then I'm kicking forward. As I come underneath, under, grab the lapel, pull him onto my lap. Okay? And from here I just shrug him to my left and I cross my arms to make that X. Okay? I release this a little bit, knowing he's gonna turn. First hook in, second hook in, left hand releases, I win the underhook. And I'm here to you. Just go back to the next guard again. Sometimes, from here, if Carl is keeping the weight 50 50 and he's really squatted down, it's very difficult for me to drop this down and actually kick him backwards to go for this backwards off balance sweep. So it makes sense more because I can sweep him in four different ways to move him this way. And his reaction to put this foot back on the mat for a split second, this leg's light. Boom. And I have this. Does that make sense? Okay, let's go 